Hello to everyone, it's uh, <coughs> January 10th, early in the morning hours uh, in Croatian time at 3.51, this is a uh, UTC time, so Croatian time is plus one hour. There was a strong earthquake in north of Honduras, which I expected to in effect happen uh, on 11th, 12th or 13th of the January. But uh, according to the phase of the moon, which was 32% on that day, it was uh, happened on January 10th, 2018. Uh, uh, interesting thing about this uh, Earthquake is that is statistically I'm expecting this uh, according to the statistically data on the previous years uh, during the Christmas holiday and New Year's holiday, and also I have to tell you that uh, we have once before in the history on the same date, uh, January 10th, 2012, strong earthquake uh, 7.2 Richter scale in the northern Sumatra. Interesting, both of them are north, and this one was uh, first registered at 7.8, and later it was downgraded to the 7.6. Uh, as I uh, announced this, uh, predict this earthquake, I said that I'd like to, if something like, like this happened, strong earthquake at this one, to be happened in the open sea and your wish, my command, here it is. It was in open sea. There was a tsunami warning. I don't know uh, what was the situation after this because I went to sleep. That was uh, early in the morning. And now I'm gonna show you what hit uh, Norton of the Honduras. Uh, hold your seat, now watch this. So exactly at 3.41.57, this is nine minutes prior to the earthquake, the Catalina UST as Nibiru, this is the code name for Nibiru from NASA, was in this position and let me show you the angular separation, it's perfect angular separation of, as you can see, here is the epicenter, 45 degrees, which is an angle of the earthquake. So, uh, this is expectable because I already showed in my previous videos a situation that Catalina is going down in front of the New York, which is here. This is the part of the... So, let me uh, go back a bit, 300% uh, and I will show you how the United States were lucky that this didn't happen somewhere in the United States. You understand that Honduras is very, very close to the Florida, and it was just a matter of, as you can see, hours that anything here can be hit on the east coast of the New York. Okay? So, this is the orbit of Catalina. I will stop now and I will show you where the Catalina was passing. As you can see, the path is here. Even if I go back at midnight, it was next to the Portland, here. And this is the path. I can go even forward and look at that here. It goes, touch directly, New York, Philadelphia, and orbit is passing over the all east coast of the United States. So, American, you were very, very lucky, and you very easily could have a strong earthquake like this one somewhere in the United States. So, let's go backward, and uh, uh, I didn't check out where was the moon in this uh, moment, but I can do this now alive, let me uh, put back Catalina on the same position, which is 341.57, and then we will look for the moon. Moon is very important in the earthquakes, so we need 341. 
this is the Croatian time. 3.51 was officially time when the plasma hit the ground in the open sea. Oh, let's go back, 3.51, okay, and then let's go with 30 forward. Okay, a little bit back, and this is here we are. Make it real time, and now 57, just a moment. Fifty-seven. It's here. Okay. So this is the position of the neighbor. Now let me see where is the moon. Not here. That is that is very interesting. Here is the moon. So moon was on the. Just a moment. Near the Taiwan, okay. Moon was near the Taiwan. Near the Taiwan, what is the uh, position of the moon? Let me see. 127, 20 degrees is the altitude of the moon. 20 degrees. So let's go back here. Let's see, Catalina, it's 10 degrees, 11 degrees above the... So this got nothing to do with the moon. It's completely tied with the Catalina US-10, which is Nibiru. And this is the epicenter here. 7.6, I was expecting this. I was announced it almost two weeks before I expected the first, it will, I wait, it will be maybe uh, during the Christmas, according to the statistic. Then my favorite day was uh, 3rd of January and then the 13th of January. That was my fa uh, uh, favorite day for this earthquake. But uh, I must tell you something now while I'm talking about this earthquake, that this is not the only strong earthquake in that magnitude that will uh, happened uh, today on uh, January 10th. We can expect uh, in the next few days more earthquake in that magnitude. So very, very strong earthquake will occur in the next day and uh, so stand by and wait because this is traditionally that in the January we had that strong earthquake because of all the position of the Catalina in the sun, etc., etc. So here it is. Thank you very much for your attention and stay tuned.